Tune Entertainment. For those of you on YouTube, this will be the last episode of Sly 3, Honor Among Thieves, hopefully. Um, we should finish the game and do the review within this episode. So if you're looking forward to that, this will be the one. Hopefully, we'll see. <laughs> Unless the game drags on for another hour, which I don't think it should. I think it's done at this point. Just the, the game's just allowing us to play as the other characters one last time. That's pretty much what the last level's all about. Come on. Okay, I must have fallen off the edge or something, and it restarted me. Come on. How many of these guys are there? I, mean, I guess, like, Murray never really got a brawl, huh? I guess they're one that... Well, I mean, did he get a brawl at any point in this game? Like, an actual, like, brawl like this? I don't think so. Do I need to, like, be breaking something? No, they're coming out of those tubes. There's no way. Into the fire. Or off the side. Come on. Okay, well, that was an easy kill. I'm just throwing these guys off the side because they take an extra hit. Well, like, you know, I'm trying to make sure I can throw them off the side in one hit. Fuck, I cannot. I gotta be careful with them because they can definitely throw me off. Okay, uh, I need some health, actually. There's a, there's a health thing. Okay, it might have disappeared. Okay, we really? Come on. No, oh no, 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 no. Come on, dude. Okay, at least we're st we started second phase, I guess. Those explosives suck, too. Get the fuck out of here with that stupid, oh, I get to attack you back stuff. Like, that's annoying. Okay, I don't know. I thought I hit him first, but I guess we traded blows on that. Okay, well. Yeah, I'm not a fan of, like, enemies you know, being able to, one, immediately attack back, and two, um fucking getting hit off the edge and then taking a second hit okay it didn't restart me completely okay that's good for me thank god see what i mean i'm pretty sure like i did i got hit by two different ones Okay, you're getting it, motherfucker. Yeah, you're all knocked down. Murray uh, stands tall, like a freaking toad. We probably have like one more hacking mini game. Don Murray. No, oh my God. Stronger than Nick Sweeney ever was. That's right, plughead. I'm like a semi truck with its brakes cut. I don't have Jesus. time to get in a screaming match with a caveman like yourself. Then lock horns with me. Think you'll find I'm a better match. I have no fight with you, Bentley. You and I are the same. I gather you were the technical specialist working with Sly's father? Yep. You knew Sly's dad? Quiet, caveman. The adults are talking. That's right, Bentley. I know the pain you suffer working under your inferior. It's no secret. I'm smarter than the other guys, but there's more to it than that. But my legs don't work, so I need them. Like brotherhood. Brotherhood? <laughs> That's just what he wants you to think. It's a tool to keep you in line. Now that's the thing that keeps us happy and alive. It's why I'm going to stop you. And me too. Fine, Cooper gang. I tried. Caveman attack! This guy's stronger than he looks! Knees Implant on Dr. Really? Bentley, those statues look like ancient security devices. Maybe 
if you took the treasure off the top of them and put it on Dr. M's back. There's one. Okay, I just gotta hurry up with this, huh? Oh shit. I pinned down. Need to fall back on my grapple camp to deal with these goons. Really? Uh, so, it says somewhat reasonable. There we go. All right, grapple. I guess I have to uh, self-destruct on them, huh? Let me go right here. That should be it, right? No, they're still alive. How? Oh, whoops, wrong button. Oh, that's right. I have a turret on this now. Duh. You telling me that Murray can't handle this? Well, I mean, monkeys are strong. They can literally rip a person's face off of their off of their head. So you know. Oh shit! 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 Um. Okay, I need to get into cover because these dudes are apparently snipers. They fucking, they spawn after I go. Come on, get the fuck out of here. Oh my God. Well, I'm gonna throw my grapple cam right there. That way I just have it there. They didn't spawn fast enough is the issue. Okay, come on, where are they at? They're going to spawn or not. They need to make up their mind. Both dead. Now get another piece of treasure of Dr. M's back. Murray's not looking so good. Okay, throw that. And I threw the last one on Dr. M's back too, and it, and it wouldn't like end the mission, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. Okay. Where's the elephants at? There they are. Any more? I don't think so. Okay. okay. We got one more of these security devices. Really? Another one spawned? Okay, thank God. Okay, any more? No, I need to hurry my ass up over here before another one spawns. Okay, Jesus Christ. So I think they're spawning on a timer is what it is. But it was a meaningless gesture. According to the tracking device I planted on Sly's cane, he's just entered the inner sanctum. I can use the collected positional data to get through the gauntlet with ease. That hauls for Coopers only. Maybe it's time for men such as you and I to change all that. He's getting away! What do we do? Uh, I'll think of something. Just give me time. You know something, Bentley? What? You think awesome. Thanks, pal. <laughs> okay, I don't know what kind of compliment that was. Job complete. Okay, this next part should be the final boss. You know, we don't, we don't get to play the Panda King in the last section, but it is what it is. Yeah, this is the final boss, 100. Yep, final boss, here we go. This is just overwhelming. Amazing. How did Thaddeus make a flying machine in the 1800s? Bet this thing still works. 
Oh, I'm sure it's operational. Doctor M. They I'm literally the use the bad the, the boss design from System Shock. And your death. Oh, many bosses. Are we supposed to banner a little? I only talk with my equals, and Benny said no. Come on, let me grab on. Thank you. Okay, um, that did little to no damage to him. Okay, I gotta be careful on what hits I take. Because I don't think he's, he's gonna have guys to come. What the fuck? That was fast! Oh no! He's got so many different attacks right off the bat, come on. Okay. Well, we're almost tied for health. That's kind of how I know if I'm doing good against the boss or not. Maybe the, the things he destroys drop stuff. The helicopter here, maybe? No, no, nothing. Come on, dude. How am I supposed to dodge that when he spawns it right in front? Oh, my God. I took two hits. I took two fucking hits again. It drops lightning. How? Okay, this one's gonna be a little rough. Oh, shut up. This one's going to be a bit rough. Okay, I, I deserve that one, I think. Not really. Yeah, come on down, yeah. He should take damage when he's open up like that. I guess I'm just holding down R1 through this whole fight. Just moving to the side like a crazy person. Come on, get me on the thing. Nope, get me on the thing. Get me on the thing. Nope. There we go. You had to be pretty much right on top of it because the game wants to read it as, oh, hey, it's, uh, he's going onto the lasers instead. No. Uh, how long do those things chase you? Seriously, how long are these things going to chase me? I can't even get a good angle to fight them. I can't. It's impossible. Two hits because of the fucking fall damage or falling off the map damage. So silly. Okay. I... <laughs> okay, this will be his last time in the air, thankfully. Hopefully he loses a couple of powers. Hopefully. Okay, into the Cooper car. The Cooper copter, the Cooper car, and the Cooper... I don't know, cutter for the boat. Come on, dude. I have no time to react to that. He just goes, ha-ha, and then like... Okay, like I, like I said earlier, I just literally got to jump these fireballs that are chasing me like suck because i can't do anything with it i don't think i can attack them but i don't want to risk it either okay i don't know wait 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 do things on the side here give me health or something there's a red light nope okay i don't know what gave me coins there i really don't unless i hit a button oh i hit a left trigger okay Come on! Oh, I'm supposed to jump out to the side to get rid of them. Okay, well that makes sense, I guess. Oh, come on. You've got some moss inside. I'll give you that. I don't know what went down between you and my father, but I'm telling you, it's not the same with me and Bentley. You might be right. He risked his life to defend you. I'd do the same for him. 
funny. Your father was never such a good friend. We're all individuals. I might be part of all this, a member of the Cooper line, but in the end, I'm just me. Not Henriette, Thaddeus, Slight and Common, Ryoichi, or my father. Just Sly. Please, keep your touchy-feely rhetoric to yourself. I can't stomach it. You Coopers are a bunch of dirty, attention-grubbing thieves. All of you, thieves! Oh, shit. Here we go. Hold it right there. Both of you thieves are going to jail. Nice, nice to see you, gorgeous. You too. Oh, I love interest. I might be beaten, but I'll make you suffer. Not her! No one hurts my criminal. Okay. Finish off the last little bit of Dr. M. There we go. All done. That game over? We should be getting a cutscene now. Sly? Where are we? What is this place? Sly, can you remember anything? No. Who are you? You look familiar. I'm Inspector Carmelita Montoya Fox. God and damn, that's the full name in there. You? You're my partner, Constable Cooper. Well, partner, we'd better get out of here. The ceiling's gonna go. I haven't got much time. Let's go. Sly! You in here? Sly? That's it. We watched as Dr. M just stood there, unwilling to leave as the walls caved in on the vault. He'd spent his life lusting over the Cooper fortune, and he wasn't going to give it up, no matter what the cost. Our exit was a little rough, but Murray managed to get us out just in time to witness the final fate of the Cooper legacy. It was a bittersweet moment. The end of the road always is. We both looked on, lost in our thoughts, thinking back on all the adventures that had brought us here. The people we'd met and places we'd seen. We'd worked for a long time to get Sly into that great vault, and now its secrets were hidden again, this time for good. I could only hope that he'd found what he was looking for in there. We searched every inch of the island for Sly, retrieving the gang one by one, only to make the surprising discovery that he didn't want to be found. As always, he'd left a calling card. Only this time, it was worth millions. Oh, she is. The months rolled by, and when Sly still hadn't shown up, Murray headed back east to complete his training with the Guru. Without Sly as our leader, for the first time, we each had to step out on our own. A difficult thing we'd been together ever since we met at the orphanage. To this day, Murray and I are still close. Recently, he's been trying to break into the pro racing circuit, stock van class. Things are looking good. He's got a unique talent for living through crashes other people would have found fatal. Just always bounces clear. And of course, there's Penelope, my new partner in crime. Let me tell you, I'm in love. She and I have set out on a journey that I never would have dreamed up while running with Sly and Murray, although I hope our paths will cross again soon. <laughs> so while this might be the end of our adventures together, it could be the start of something even bigger. Time will tell, literally. Cause I'm building a time machine to find out. Okay, yeah. They, they they set up for the next game that came out like what six, seven years later. Okay, there is a post-credit scene I'll be on the lookout for. But 
Dimitri went on to become oh, well. a celebrity skin diver. The ladies flocked to him, and so did the money. I got a postcard from him once. It said, I'm here, wish you were fine. Like me. He's his own man. So yeah, they do like what I guess the 80s movies do. They was like, oh, here's where everybody is now, doing their own thing. returned to China and lived a happy life living two doors down from his beloved daughter. She, of course, was pleased to have him screen all of her future suitors. As of yet, <laughs> she's still unmarried. Tsunami and all related characters and elements are trademarked. In Wait, what? In the Cartoon Network? What? How does that... Took on some new How is students? those two linked? One of which was a high-profile rock star How are those two that brought linked? a lot of unwanted media attention. Yeah, there's uh, the heard, Beatles. he was hiding out in New York City. Figured it was the last place they'd ever look. Yeah, who's left? That's all the gang, right? Besides Sly. In the post credit scene, then we'll get to the review. I don't know how she, like, got everything dropped off a of sly. Like, legally. Because she had been after him for a while. That sneaky devil. All right, well, that is it for the Sly series. And again, until I get a Gapture card, um, I could run an emulator on the PC, but I'd rather, I'd rather just go ahead and get a Gapture card and be, you know, familiar with it and everything else. So, with that being said, let's go into the review. Into the review we go. Oh, whoops. Into the review. Let's see here. Main monitor. There we go. All right. This is always the fun part. Some people might disagree. Some of you may agree. I don't care. This is built to be as objective as possible and as subjective as possible. So do with that information what you will. Um, let's see here. Okay. So graphics overall for that time period, I think this came out in 2003, four or five. Definitely not 6. This was a PS2 game. Definitely not 2006. So, overall, it's a 1. We do have, like, some weird um, stuff on screen, but I think it's because I'm running a 1440p monitor, and so it's kind of throwing a few things off of balance here and there when it comes to, like, the uh, cartoon cutscenes, but hey, it's fine. Sound! Sound effects are good. Sound effects are fine. Um, I mean, they, they do what they need to be done. Music's, I mean, well, sound. Sounds fine. Sounds fine. Everything sounds solid. You definitely, you're never like, oh, this needs more sound. Like, hey, they did, they did fine. Music's always great for the Sly Cooper series. That's no question. Polish, this was a classic PS1 title, so polish is fine. You remember, the, the game had to work when it came out, and it did. Story, uh, uh, story was great. Story was great. You're going around, you're recruiting your band of thieves, which is kind of weird. They should have... I think they should have swapped the names around on on the titles but honor among thieves is a common or not a common phrase you heard that you hear that more than band of thieves i feel like band of thieves feels right for uh three but either way still good it's still good effectiveness and engagement of gameplay is it fun or makes you just play one more turn it is very effective because um there's so many different ways to play the game. Each character plays their own way. You have access to upgrades. It's definitely, it's definitely um, different. It's very different. You have Sly and his standard move set. You have Murray and uh, Bentley standard move sets with a few upgrades. Then you have the Guru, which is my favorite. I love him. I just love the character. Uh, the Guru, who mind controls people. You have the you have Penelope, which is more gadget oriented, which I guess she kind of replaced half of Bentley in that way. Um, then you have the Panda King, which is you know artillery, fireworks. He plays in his own way, 
and then Dimitri, which is a first person shooter. Like crazy, like good, good variability. It definitely keeps you engaged through the game. You don't get tired of it. Um, post game and replayability. You will not replay this within a year. And post game is like these extra levels, challenges and stuff. I don't think so. I don't think anybody's going to want to do those. Like they're going to finish all of those. I don't think there's that many people who are going to do that. On top of that, there's no, there's no treasure hunting or anything like that. The only post game you really have is the pirate level. And that's just to farm gold so you can afford upgrades. That's all that is, unfortunately. So unfortunately, I have to give that a zero. Um, there's no, you're not going to replay this within a year. You're not. It's just a fact. Um, and the, there is no post game. Length, I said this earlier, um, it's on the longer side of things, but then again, it's good because of that. It, like, it's not way too long. It's a little long, but not way too long. You're getting the value for your dollar when you buy this full price back in PS2 days. So, you know, length is just right. On the little long side, but that's okay. That's okay. It's probably a little on the long side because I died a couple times. So, yeah. So, environments. Let's actually go ahead and look. So, we have the island. Oh, come on. I always do that. We have the island level. We have the training room, which we barely use, so I'm not counting that. We have Opera Fear, Italy, Rumble Down Under, Australia, Flight of Fancy, uh, Holland, Cold Alliance, uh, China, Deadman Tell No Tales, the Caribbean Sea, I guess, and then back to the island. So you have like about seven environments, about. Uh, all, all great variability, great level design. Uh, I can't really complain, so I already gave it a one because that's what it's getting, it's getting a one. Um, so yeah, the entire package of everything put together. So graphics, sound, music, the basic three you have to have. If you don't have one of the basic three, like it's not, it's not going to be a good time. It's not. Uh, polish. Okay, so let me restart. I'm getting ahead of myself. So if you don't have the basic three, you're done. There's no point. Just stop making the game. Okay. Graphics are very technical because they can be played with in a certain way. If you, you look at games like Pseudo Regalia, Dave the Diver, um, Monaco, um, you know, you just have to definitely hit your art style on the mark, especially nowadays. If you're like, uh, if you're a triple A game, graphics means an entirely different thing. But that being said, so graphics got a one, sound got a one, music got a one, polish got a one, story one. And, if effectiveness engagement of gameplay one replayability in post game got a zero length one environments and one so the entire package everything's pretty solid everything put together works out so again that's a one so slide three gets a nine out of ten the nine out of ten game everybody that's it there's no more to it so if you've uh you're watching this on youtube thank you so much for sitting through the series is duly appreciated uh, I'm going to go into the post stream scene with the rest of my stream, but if you want to catch me live there at twitch.tv forward slash Car Carmelo P, you can actually type that in. You don't have to type in Carmel Carmel Zero P to find me. You can type in Carmelo P and um, you'll find me. Follow me and uh, you'll catch me live from 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. Central Standard Time to about 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. The times vary, and then I do an afternoon stream sometimes. Um, that varies depending on when the wife goes to work. So, hey, catch me there. But we're going to go into the post stream.